Welcome back everybody to Altcoin Daily, where you subscribe for daily videos on everything going on in the crypto space. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Longtime subscribers will appreciate this, hopefully. In the interest of further transparency and showing you exactly which cryptos and NFTs I'm holding, let's do a portfolio reveal. If you appreciate this, take the time like the video this tells me to do more videos like this in the future let's get into it we're going to start with the altcoins that i hold then we're going to get into the nfts that i hold so with the altcoins let's go over these please comment your thoughts on the altcoins that i hold below please tell me which altcoins you hold which altcoins you believe in in the comments below i'll be looking i'll be responding first off bitcoin and ethereum bitcoin and ethereum these make up the largest percentage of my portfolio. Bitcoin number one, Ethereum number two. Bet on the winners. Yeah, they're not going to appreciate as hard as the low cap altcoins. It's true, but there is less risk. Bitcoin will be around 10 years from now. I'm betting on that. Ethereum, I think, will be around in the future. My portfolio reflects that belief. Other coins that I hold other coins that I like, other coins I believe in, in no particular order. Mina Protocol, the world's lightest blockchain, Super Farm, NFT, and NFT Gaming DAO, XCAD, social token platform, Opulus, music NFT crypto, Injective, DeFi, decentralized derivatives, much more. Metaverse cryptos like Realm, like Fear, which is a play-to-earn crypto in the horror game genre. I also hold Rune, Byco. You can always look below my videos to see which coins I'm currently holding, at least coins that I have significant positions in. And thinking towards the future, I mean, really what I'm most bullish on in 2022, besides Bitcoin and Ethereum, obviously, is other L1s. Cardano, Solana, Elrond, Polkadot, Avalanche. These all did great in 2021, and I'm still bullish on L1s today and going towards the future. Bullish on Ethereum L2s. I hold Matic, I hold Metis, I hold Immutable X, perhaps some OP optimism soon. Also in 2022, I'm bullish on play to earn gaming. Mentioned some of those above. I also hold Mana and Sand. These are my biggest holdings. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What coins should I add? Again, give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate the transparency and if you appreciate the content. Let's get into my NFT portfolio. As we go through these, please tell me which NFT collections of mine that you like. Please tell me which NFT collections you think I should add to my portfolio. All of my NFTs are pretty much Ethereum NFTs. This could change in the future. I'll always adapt. But this is what I hold. Tell me what you think. Again, no particular order, but the first NFTs in my collection, I just picked up a few of these. They are V Friends Series 2. This is my rare robot. Picked this up before the reveal. I guess this is a good one. Somebody's offering me 1.75 ETH for this. I also have an insightful Irish Terrier. Somebody's offering me 0.5 Ethereum for this. Gary V, V Friends NFTs. There's so much like any good successful NFT project in the space today, but also they're very different. For me, betting on V Friends is actually betting on Gary V and betting on Gary V's ability to, you know, succeed and make stuff happen, which again is very similar to many NFT projects where you are betting on the team. What's so special about this NFT collection? The premise of Gary's approach is to create access and serve his community. V friends are all about utility and access, meaning each NFT will have different levels of access and activities through the smart contract attached with each investment, thus giving them utility through metadata. And I really like how Gary V has handled the initial V friends launch. I don't have any series one v friends but i really think he understands nfts and understands community so i picked up a few of these i have some v friends if you're bullish on music nfts or if you're bullish on nfts with real utility 
or even again, NFT projects with great leadership. In this case, the leader is two-time Grammy-winning producer Illmind. He's been on Drake songs, Kanye songs, tons of popular songs. His NFT project is called Squad of Nights. This is one of my nights. I'm in the squad. This is another one of my nights. I'm in the squad. And basically, many people in the squad are music producers he's worked with, people that are not only bigger names, but also up-and-comers who are hungry to collaborate. Music is so collaborative, and this NFT project is built for that. Connect and collab in real life. NFT holders will earn night reward tokens based on collaborating with one another, competing challenges, and participating in highly curated in real life and metaverse activities to improve, empower, and inspire one another. Keep track of everything in a cool Web3 member's wallet. Why choose Squad of Nights? Well, since the dawn of music and tech, we've seen amazing advancements in how creatives can come together. Yet still, to this day, it seems impossible to find and connect with the right people to collab with. As we embark on this journey together, we will utilize our resources in the music business and creative ecosystem to create forward-thinking experiences with community members and industry professionals as we provide various tools to help solve this problem. I like Squad of Nights. I'm bullish on play-to-earn NFT-based games. This game just launched. I think they have great leadership. Friend of the channel, Elliot. For that reason, I just recently purchased two imposters. Here's my imposters right here, currently being staked, earning blood token. Again, imposters, the game just launched. They're in their Genesis season. I wanted to be with this from the very beginning. That's why I purchased two. That's why I'm staking it. These NFTs are in my collection. I'm excited to see where this goes. I'm bullish on play to earn NFT based gaming in general. Look forward to keeping you updated with this. Attention crypto holders, attention crypto traders. Do you invest in crypto? Do you trade crypto? If yes, I have a major opportunity that I need to clue you into. Most people in crypto do not know that they can take advantage of this. You should be investing, you should be trading with Choice IRA app, a retirement account. Trade, invest with Choice, and you pay zero, zero capital gains tax. They offer thousands of traditional assets and tons of crypto assets. You can buy crypto with Choice. You can trade crypto with Choice. These guys are a proud sponsor of our channel. You could hold your own keys if you want. Their fees are low and highly competitive. The bottom line is, if you think your Bitcoin, Ethereum, and cryptocurrency assets are gonna be worth a lot of money in the long term, why not put a portion of your stack in the Choice app so you won't have to pay any capital gains tax? Your future self will thank you. Take advantage of this. Use our link and receive $50 in free Bitcoin when you set up an account. Take advantage of this. Let me know if you did. Next up in my NFT collection, I'm proud to share with you my dead fellas. This is my dead fella. And in the same universe, this is my dead friend. What do you think? Now, dead fellas, women-led NFT project, pretty well-established NFT project at this point. I don't know if they're a blue chip. Maybe they're the next one down, but the floor is relatively low. If you think they are the next level down from a blue chip, which is why I just picked up a few over the last couple of weeks, they just got signed to a big Hollywood talent agency, UTA. So some stuff is in the works. I like dead fellas. Next up is Crypto Chicks. I own quite a few Crypto Chicks. Love the leadership behind Crypto Chicks. This is one of my Crypto Chicks. This is another of my crypto chicks. In fact, the first one I purchased, first or second, was this one. So big believer in the crypto chicks. Check them out. One of the best women-led projects in the space today, in my opinion. The next two collections in my NFT portfolio. Well, first of all, we saw how popular sports and NFTs are together with the major success of NBA Top Shots last year. Now, what if we took sports and NFTs and we gamified it? made it more than a collectible. This is why I just took out a couple NFT positions in two different collections. The first one is called the Association NFT. They have a direct relationship with the NBA. This is my Jimmy Butler. 
These are dynamic NFTs, which will actually change based on the player's performance as we get into the NBA playoffs. The association NFTs are connected to live data feeds and computations for each respective team and player via Chainlink Oracle. This allows each player's NFT appearance to change in an automated manner based upon the preset achievements that are written into the smart contract. The more that a player accomplishes during the 2022 NBA playoffs, the more visual changes their NFT will receive. Very exciting. The next sports NFT gamified, perhaps a little bit more abstract, it's called the Fives. This is one of my Fives Genesis DNA cards. This is another one. Again, it's a little bit more abstract. This goes along with game. Fives is a play-to-earn game combining the fast-paced nature of mobile games with the highlight plays of basketball. Players collect DNA packs, which I just showed you, of real basketball player groups of them to generate ballers, other basketball entities, the characters in the game, compete in head-to-head -head online matchups. Gameplay in Fives is skill-based. Players use touch control, swiping, strategy to beat opponents. Players level up their ballers by playing with them. You can earn cosmetics, animation, new DNA packs by winning. You earn the governance token Fives. This is what one such card looks like. And basically to create my own individual player, they'll take qualities from Kobe, from Delonte West, from Yao Ming, and make an awesome player. Next up, another great women project just minted, You by BFF. This is one of my U's. This is another one of my U's, and this is the creators, mybff.com. These guys, again, I'm looking for great teams. These guys have a great team. They're well-backed. Big celebrities who are either advisors or directly working with the project. Paris Hilton is one, Reese Witherspoon, Eva Longoria, I like you, I have a few in my portfolio. Next NFTs in my portfolio, the plumbers. I think the plumbers are pretty cool. Generative PFP NFTs. I was actually gifted these two plumbers from some real go-getters, these guys that I met at a Web3 meetup. I like the plumbers, check out the plumbers. Next NFTs in my collection, we actually have an interview coming out soon with one of the co-founders of Particlon. Particlon NFTs have a lot of utility. We have the founder on to explain it. This is, you know, one of the founders is a guy we know in real life. Anyways, Particlon bullish on the project because I like the team so much and they're not just making a pretty picture. These NFTs have real utility. Next up, I have an unstoppable domain. I have AaronArnold.crypto. I have some Froyo kittens. Aren't these Froyo kittens just so cute? I have some Women Tribe, minted some of those. And that is my portfolio. Comment which NFTs you like down below. Which NFTs do you are you bullish on? I wish I had a punk. I wish I had a bored ape. This is what I actually have. Let me know your thoughts on the future of NFTs and altcoins down below. I'll be reading the comments. Curious to know what you have in your portfolio. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I will see you tomorrow, my friends.